Welcome back to another video in the series Throwback Thursdays and happy December. For this month's video I thought it would be appropriate to go back in memory lane to check out the Christmas beer garden that I made and the Christmas houses that I that went along with it for the Winter Wonderland collaboration for Thunder Nation. And these blueprints were uploaded to the Steam Workshop on November 12, 2020. Let me show you here on the timeline. Uh, what you'd seen last December, the first video in my Throwback Thursday series that began this whole series, the Under the Sea, these were some of my last creations that I hurried and made before moving from Arizona. So yeah, I was like in the middle of packing at nighttime, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to pack up these things and get this room done and then I'm going to hop on the computer. I was like, don't pack up my computer <laughs> until the last thing. I'm really glad that even though I was under pressure with packing and like that, that these turned out really good. I was really impressed with them, and Boog was really impressed with them. Uh, he was spearheading this collaboration for Thunder Nation, and, and I was able to keep within uh, his guidelines of piece count. And uh, do I have on here? Let me show you the piece count. So for oh, hello, <laughs> you don't see that. Okay, I think I took pictures of it. I'll put it in there. <laughs> you didn't see that? Okay. Yeah, I have a okay. I, I have a motion picture or a motion ride that I was doing cinematics on, and I forgot to delete it. I think also he well he wanted the piece count to be somewhat low, but then also the space like, uh, and so I, I kept that within there for each of the houses and, and the beer garden. And my American friends will probably be going, well, smiling. You spelled beer garden wrong and I, I swear I didn't I pictures that I had googled I found one picture I think it was in Germany that they spelled it like this so there nanner 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 I had taken a picture and I'll, I'll upload it in the video so you guys can see there was this little uh, ceramic house that looked like this and I basically recreated it in Planet Coaster and I it's pretty well like it's pretty spot on and I was really tickled that it looks pretty much just like the picture does and uh, and I like when I'm able to do that uh, make, make it recreate something that I see um, it's very in, in the game it's very satisfying for me so again another not flat roof shape I want you all to take in take in the not flat roof shape <laughs> such an ass but yeah, behold. <laughs> the snow looks a little janky, not gonna lie there. I, I have, I, in this little blueprint, I hadn't mastered how having the snow look all good, but it is what it is. Uh, and this one, it doesn't look too bad. But yeah, but I'm, the roofs, roofs and padding, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, they just, they don't make, yeah, they're hard. This is a custom little thing that I, yeah, custom roof. I couldn't find, uh, so like this is an in-game piece here and then for this one I, I I had to make it a little bigger to fit the size and scale of this and then this yeah I need this I was really proud of this beer stein here I'm really proud of uh, this beer stein here custom beer stein so you know hey you're gonna get delicious beer here and pretzels <laughs> my big smiley face and uh, a little beer here. That's my kind of beer right there. Big old keg of beer. And so let's go inside uh, the shop. Now, I feel bad and I felt bad for Boog. I'm like, please don't hate me. The pad in here sucks us. So if you download this to put this in your parks, I'm sorry in advance, y'all. <laughs> This was hard to do. This was hard to path up. And, and you know, some people don't like, you know, I mean, it's like, but 
this doesn't open up. You have to go through it, but you can. So yeah, the packing for here, it's it's kind of hard. And I'll show you some pictures of the interior of this. I was inspired um, from seeing some pictures. I, I recreated that. And I'll turn this on night too so you can see how it looks. I like it. I, I really like the, the ambiance at night. And if you recall from last month's Five Fat Sausages shop, I had reused this or you know this was in that shop and I repurposed it here. Make sure you get stuck underneath here with someone you want to kiss. Okay. Uh, all right. That was kind of cringy, wasn't it? All right. All right. Anyhow. <laughs> what I really liked about this too was, so I wanted to have like, oh yeah, so there's a patio out here. Let's go out here. There's this patio. There's, you know, you can sit out here if the weather's nice and have some brewskis and pretzels and whatever else you eat here and have some entertainment, festive entertainment. And obviously, you know, I, I was thinking that you'd come from in here, the shop. And but it's not a working path. I mean you can't access it from here. You know, you have to go around. But to simulate that, what I had done, I came up with this idea of taking a picture of the inside of here at at night. Oop, sorry y'all. Then I put it on here so it looks like you're looking inside the shop. And then I had done the same thing. I took a picture of the people sitting out there. So it looks like you're looking at them out there. And I really was tickled that that turned out really good. I was like, yeah, I was really good. So that's the only thing, like if you upload, if you, um, if you download this, make sure that you download the two pictures and the link on my description page. But other than that, there are no TMTK items used in this blueprint just these two images and it's highly worth it to do that because if you don't it'll look kind of janky but let me talk about well okay I'm gonna turn it to night so this shop had the interior this house matches it so I have like okay so this is the largest building in the shop and then I have this is like a medium size house there's no interior for this this house matches it so I have like okay so this is the largest building in the shop and then I have this is like a medium size house. There's no interior for this. It's just copied that outside. It's a little smaller than that one. It has the same porch on, on the side here. And it has like the, you know, the patio thing. But since, you know, that didn't have an interior and let that out, you know, I just thought, well, it's, there's no need. Then the smaller one, hold on, that's gonna work. All right, and then we have the smallest house that matches this themed here we've got going on and instead of the porch being on the side I have it in the back but then it has like the you know, same themed double uh, back doors and so it's all in the same theme but this is the same theme but it's the smallest one but they all go together and let me turn it to night so you can see the lighting I was going to go ahead and put this in a winter map so that you could have that immersion but then I just I've got so much going on right now I'm like I can't even be bothered to do that I apologize Hope you don't hold that against me but I will put some I think I have some pictures of these in the actual collab that I will share in the video at the end so you can see what this what these guys look like in the actual uh, Thunder Nation Winter Wonderland Park and I would highly recommend y'all downloading if you haven't checked out that park if you want to get into the festivities of this month download Winter Wonderland it's a fun park with three different areas there's a Mealy Kaliki Muckus area I, I probably butchered that you know it's like a tropical Christmas then we have a spooky Christmas which is kind of, you know, like a, a Nightmare Before Christmas vibe going on. And then we have the traditional one and lots of wonderful blueprints and one of the dopest bobsled rides 
it, a lot of really cool things. Highly check it out. And then also, if you don't want to download, if you don't have Planet Coaster, Thunder Nation has Spotlight on the park, and so does Channel 5. So both of those uh, YouTube channels have Spotlights on them, so you can see all of the wonderful creations in them. There's a really cool creator in our community, Cat Weasel, I think their name is, and seeing some of his windows that he's made, stained glass windows, and I really like the vibe of it. And so I was like, I asked him, like, can I copy these? Like, can I take your idea and use them in my idea? And I think it was a quid pro quo, quid pro quo because he had asked if he could use one of the take one of the ideas that I had done one of my blueprints and use it. And I was like, yeah, no problem. I'm like, hey, by the way, I'm going to, you know, use your windows. Um, I didn't use his actual windows, but like the idea, like I was like, okay, you know. So I liked it. I really liked the vibe of it. The only thing is, is it gives off like the light. And I believe it or not, I had them turned off. Like the majority of them are turned off and it still gives off this nice yellowish glow it's still a little glaring and so that's the only drawback to that is toning that down and i yeah other than that it does give a nice warm vibe to it and i know when i was making it i didn't decorate for christmas because you know why would we we were moving and so making this was like it helped Give me that Christmas vibe for me. Yeah, I really like it in here. Oh, and uh, I custom made this uh, table. So we have in-game tables and chairs, but you need to have pathing. And if you don't, then you have to make your own. So I made that. I was pretty. I was pretty proud how this turned out. But yeah, so there it is. we close out this video for this month I just want to thank everybody for this past year of tuning in to the throwback Thursday series I really appreciate you joining me as I go back and talk about some of my uh, my blueprints that I've made and projects that I've made and participated in and I hope you you know just it's been fun to go on that journey and see where I started with Ben Shore and some of my earlier blueprints and hope you're finding it interesting to see my growth as a creator and some of the maybe backstories to things and whatnot but I really appreciate it. it's been a fun series to do there are more if you look at the time the timeline I still have a lot more blueprints to go through um, I'm also in the works of hopefully in 2024 you will see more major projects that I've been working on for a couple of years finally done. I'm really hyped about that. And so there's there's going to be new content coming out too, as well as old content. And for non-Planet Coaster players, or even just, you know, seeing other games that I play, a lot more content and games. And so uh, I hope you join me in 2024 for more videos but i wish you all a wonderful december and i whatever holiday you you celebrate i hope it's a wonderful holiday for you guys peace love and blessed be bye